Without question, we must be strong. Without question, we must defend ourselves. I envision an America with a national defense unparalleled, undefeatable, and unencumbered by nation building. He is on the tip of most Republican tongues this day as they begin to wag and decide if he is worth the time and effort to promote as the new president. Once thought of as a front runner, now seeking to emerge from an early pack and impress everybody with his ideas. Let us dive into the man from Kentucky who would be the leader of the free world. Pleasure to welcome in the midpoint, formerly of the Wall Street Journal, now keeping track of such matters for Politico. Their most recent article entitled, Insiders View Paul as Strong Early Contender. Let's find out. Katie Glick. Katie, thanks for being here. Good to be with you. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. All right. Simple question most Americans want to know, Katie. Who is Rand Paul? Because at times he sends very confusing messages. Sure. Well, uh, a lot of people are going to get a clearer idea tomorrow, which is, of course, when uh, the Kentucky Republican is expected to announce his uh, presidential bid. That's happening in Louisville, uh, Kentucky, tomorrow. And, and from there, he is going to be embarking on sort of a, a, a swing through through several other states, uh, including Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, South Carolina, uh, as an effort to do just that, to introduce himself to the broader public. Who is he, though? What is the idea that we get? Because at times he seems Republican, at times he seems Libertarian, at times he seems to change his mind, which is not a bad thing in politics, but I think people still want to know, who is Rand Paul? Sure. Well, you know, what he would probably tell you is he is a uh, libertarian-leaning conservative. Uh, it, he uh, is someone who, who, of course, is a member of the Republican Party, uh, but he's also someone who has taken positions at times that are at odds with the leadership of the Republican Party uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes uh, at, at odds uh, with uh, the, the conservative base. Uh, but, you know, he is someone who, who you know, the term is uh, often used to describe him as interesting. You know, he takes a, a wide range of positions. For example, he uh, has worked with a lot of Democrats on, on issues concerning criminal justice, for example. Uh, but th at the same time, he was elected to the Senate on a Tea Party wave. He is really kind of a fiscal hawk, uh, a, a, a spending hawk, a, a, someone who sort of wants to see uh, the, the debt and deficit reined in. So uh, really, uh, it kind of a, a spans the ideological spectrum depending on which issue you're talking about. What about the fact that his father has a very isolationist view? You pointed this out in the article, too, which many seem to associate with Rand Paul. How is that going to hurt him? or how is that going to help him? Well, uh, you know, we talked with uh, a lot of leaders uh, in the early voting uh, presidential states of Iowa and New Hampshire, and you know, people said that he's well positioned uh, go looking ahead to uh, the primaries and caucuses of early next year, but they did say that his biggest challenge uh, is still foreign policy. Uh, there are a lot of people in the Republican establishment who are certainly leery of where his father, Ron Paul, is certainly a libertarian, uh, wh where he was on, on sort of engagement in the Middle East and beyond. Um, and, and, you know, Rand Paul has done a lot to uh, try and, and sort of stake out different territory. He's, you know, repeatedly that, that he and his dad are their own people. And, you know, uh, He's someone who, uh, you know, will, will say that, that he... Is he, though, Katie? I mean, there's the question. Do you think in covering him and covering this story, is he really his own person? Well, you know, that's going to be his challenge uh, to, to make that distinction for, uh, you know, some of the people uh, in these early states uh, with him. We taught that, that we're skeptical of that. You know, they say that there are still questions about exactly where he is on foreign policy. He had different his father, and he's really, you know, tried to, to assert that there are clear distinctions. But you know, whether he can make that case, and whether people in the early states, uh, you know, do vote on foreign policy by that, uh, you know, it is a different question. Katie, here comes a big question about the minute or so that we have left that everybody is going to be asking: Is Rand Paul the guy who could beat Hillary Clinton? Well, he would certainly make that case. Uh, his, it's sort of his bet that he would be able to assemble a different coalition uh, than a lot of Republicans. Um, but at the same time, uh, in the early state uh, surveys that, that we did, uh, you know, very few people actually think he could uh, win in a general election against her. But of course, it's going to be a very crowded Republican field. Everyone's going to be trying to make the case that they are the person best positioned to take on Hillary Clinton. So it should be an interesting couple of weeks. Are people excited about him, though, really, when you get to talking to some of that Republican base? 
Well, some people certainly are. I mean, he has a built-in uh, sort of libertarian-leaning base. Uh, a lot of the folks that we spoke with uh, in Iowa and New Hampshire noted that he's able to build on sort of the base that his dad already has in place. But the question is, is he able to expand beyond that? And if so, what does that coalition look like? Uh, you know, is he able to engage evangelicals? Is he able to uh, mm -hmm. assure people, you know, who do vote on foreign policy that, that he's going to be with them on certain issues with regard to Iran, with regard to Israel especially? Uh, so, you know, certainly a lot of people with whom we spoke say he's got some great built-in assets, but, but foreign policy is that lingering challenge. That is going to be the lingering challenge. It's also in your article, Insiders View Paul, a strong early contender on Politico. Katie Glick, thanks so much for joining us today. We'll do it again, and stay with us as Midpoint continues.